All right, uh, this is a follow-up two types of things. One, to uh, do spoof, basically. Okay, you know, these things are conversational, and I, um, so I just talk people now or don't now or whatever. But, um, okay, my, my problem with Wise Monkey is this. For quite some time, since he was a commenter, you know, I found him odd. Uh, he pipes up and goes, good job there, very, very clever fellow. And he's, then he's like, well, you're a totally ridiculous twit. And then he follows those up, you know, with blocking you or unblocking you and stuff. Okay, <clears throat> I notice he doesn't really say much, but he does come out with a little bit of like, he'll act so offended at what you've said, like, there's got to be a reason. And you try to find out, one won't tell you, I think you're being disingenuous. I think you know full well what I'm talking about. I mean, many times said that. So that's, that's just annoying. Fine. Then a couple months ago, um, a few months ago, I just got overwhelmed with stray facts of various dramas that were like, what? Well, and I just felt, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not bound to ignore this stuff forever. So I just took a backpack into the wilderness and I dealt with some drama. It wasn't even my drama, just things put out in front of us, kids getting abandoned, things like this. And I noticed wise monkeys in the comments of a lot of these things. Okay, and some of the, that actually all started because I've been looking into personality disorder. Um, and they've kind of tidied this up a bit for such a mess that uh, psychological sciences are that they've, uh, you know, the personality disorder spectrum's getting kind of interesting. Um, and I'm finding people online, and I just happen to find somebody who is related. To, you know, through the people I knew, and I'm going, what? And, you know, she's complaining about somebody as her boyfriend is a real life kind of complaint. Happens to be on YouTube, and it's somebody who, in the discussion type stuff. And kids are getting abandoned because it's saying, you know, I've been ignoring things. You know, the way it's still going on. I hadn't seen Von Helm for years. Somebody made a video about something regarding him, and I happened to watch him again, literally not at all, for a couple of years. And he's like, he's got three kids, and it. And so then I kind of was watching after that for a while and see what Von Helton's, you know, going on with Von Helton. The kids are taken. It's like, this still is going on. It's like a weird state. But anyway, um, so yeah, I noticed them around there. And then that was all over. And I'm, you know, interacting with people. And I see him, yeah, making these really sharp and snide comments. Not just to anybody, but to particularly civil people. In one case, to, to a guy with bipolar disorder that's sharing his, you know, thoughts online. And it's not as if to protect him per se. I mean, there was another user, uh, see inside her, um, that also called him an asshole and stuff. And that's how she feels. She doesn't like the, the message he's putting out there. And I disagree with some of her assessment of it, and she disagrees with me. But she says why. She's like, she acknowledges, okay, that's an emotional response. Here's why I'm so emotional. So I just had enough of Wise Monkey who, who does that, won't come and say what it's about, and we're supposed to know. And um, it's just a distraction, just a very subtle troll that I've had enough with, uh, letting go unmolested. You know, it's like, you're going to come and keep, well, I could throw eggs at the machinery, it doesn't hurt. Well, right, and I can get off the machine and say, hey, stop throwing eggs at my machine or whatever. So I just think it takes a response. Um, and, and really the bottom line was three people happen to be, I mean, one guy, he just happens to be particularly civil and he's getting provoked into this being called twit and little this and blah, and your English is bad and like yeah, bigoted kind of stuff. And then somebody with a personality disorder, you know, which wise monkey just made a video he's like, there's something a little bit off about him, you to think. And, uh, something more off about someone acting like that in that situation and then you call the woman a bitch and it's like she she's a hard arguer i could see why somebody say well because this and that happened but he doesn't do that he's just like you know you have to better back that up you say something misogynistic and you might not ever be forgiven which you better at least explain yourself type thing. so i just had enough of that now the other second half of the video is regarding um I think it's G1981C, going from memory. Uh, 
that has been saying that uh, he doesn't know about Wise Monkey, but I definitely am not as smart as I think I am, and I have infinite flaws that I know nothing about and I won't acknowledge, and I remind him of how he was before he became depressed. Well, you can't read my mind, but that's a fair enough criticism, and this is probably a good time to make it. Um, I'm interested in that, you know. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't think, I, I don't believe in a kind of false humility that oh, I'm stupid, I'm this, this, or just that. Every, I believe there's infinite kinds of intelligence, and it, it's not really important to pump up or pump down. It's more important to try to apply it to the situations that call for it, right? So, the thing is, though, if you just talk about basic estimations of your own intelligence, this is something I do all the time. Um, because I have to, like, figure out, you know, something I don't know about. I'll have to make an estimate how long it'll take me to learn it and then do something with that knowledge. You know, so I have to estimate, well, how smart am I at learning that kind of system? How many others do I know and as well as how much do I pick it up? Okay, I know nothing about how, how good am I at picking up whole new technologies? You know, what have I heard about it that can give me a clue? And, you know, I have to make a self-estimation. And I don't overbid on my intelligence, quite the opposite, I, I make fallbacks and this is the way all achievement is, you know, that every achievement has failures along the way, you know, you, you plant successfully take make a mission to the moon and spend a week on the moon, you're probably planning to make two weeks because you're trying to achieve and you have fallbacks and that's the humility is that you have fallbacks and the other most even more important part of humility is in the is in the social organization of it do you take other people's ideas and you know it's like what if you think like your own ideas and you, somebody comes up with an idea and you think that's crazy and it, maybe it's you know, seems stupid and my idea is better but you go with their idea because this is it's like time and you believe in cooperation is that egotistical or not well yeah it is on the other hand is it humble well yeah see there's contradictions could take place if you find yourself in that situation you get to find out whether their idea was stupid or not and since they succeed sometimes you go oh that wasn't as, as stupid as I thought and I learned and you can get real humility next time and next time you don't see their idea stupid you just go I don't understand that idea it doesn't seem like it would work but, you know, they made one that worked in a similar situation. Let's go for it. But what I'd really like is, you know, be specific. I, I'm perfectly fine. Let's, let's make, have me face, you know, just a finite subset of these infinite flaws. I, I'll try not to be too defensive. Of course, I'll say my take on them. But, um, yeah, by all means. Uh, I don't see even why it's such a big threat for, to people. They either can learn from it or um, or at the least, you know, survive. And I don't understand the fear. It's like it, you c could like get bored with the idea, well, let's not delve into that. I, I don't mind that at all. Please, let's list them. <laughs>